Hi, good day. Today in the series Records That Don't Deserve To Be Forgotten, I want to talk about this one, Manic Pop Thrill by Dead Petrol Emotion. A band that frankly I forgot about for a long time, probably because of a failed concert experience, a concert experience that didn't live up to my, as always, very high expectations. But anyway, a quick recap for everyone who forgot. Dead Petrol Emotion were formed back in 1985-ish, I think, when The Undertones called it quits after four or five very good punk pop albums with in a declining rate of success. So when they called it quits, the two of their members, the brothers O'Neill, guitar players in The Undertones, decided to form a new band, Dead Petrol Emotion, and actually had a pretty interesting career with that band between 1986 and 1994, roughly. This album, Manic Pop Trail, is their debut album. It's from 1986. I think it's their best album overall. Um, it's pretty consistent in terms of quality. If I have to single out one song, it would be Tight Lipped, the second song of the second of the B-side, uh, but overall what distinguishes that petrol emotion from the undertones is a far more of a indie guitar orientation than the undertones ever had. The undertones ultimately were always a bit on the punk poppy side and that petrol emotion is just heavier, more guitar oriented also more political than the undertones ever were. Like I said, I frankly forgot about this band for a long time. I recently rediscovered this album again, Manic Pop Trill. I think it's a brilliant album. It's absolutely one of those albums that is worth uh, listening to. So, if you don't have it yet, or if you didn't do that yet, please by any means do so. Thanks. Bye-bye.